Elizabeth Fry works alongside uh, vulnerable and marginalized women in our community who uh, are at risk or currently in conflict with the law. It's important for us to make those connections prior to people getting in conflict with the law or coming into the justice system. And so that means basic necessity support. We're there for referrals, we're there helping people get basic needs. A lot of women aren't able to get into certain shelters in certain areas, so they do become street involved and it becomes more high risk for them and for the community for them to be out there as vulnerable as they are. So we like to make sure that we're there supporting them in whatever facet that looks like. Over the course of the pandemic, we have pivoted a lot of our programming to support women who are currently out in the community. Um, and this has allowed us to make a lot of connections with uh, marginalized and vulnerable women. One of the ways that we have been extremely successful is in our barrier-free food program. What we've been doing is we have partnered with multiple agencies across the city to deliver barrier-free food bags. So that means that these women are able to eat it no matter where they live. They don't need refrigeration. They don't have to cook anything. The utensils are already available. We've partnered with a bunch of different agencies throughout the city. Uh, and one of the important ones for our pop-up was uh, Roots to Harvest. The important piece about that, I think, is that we're all in this community together. And to uplift and heal women and heal your community, you need to heal the women in your community. And so it's important just to start with basics like dietary needs. We're really pleased to be accepting the Outstanding Community Project Award.